Hello guys and welcome to this tutorial on how to use Divine Print. Um, this is Divine Cut. So Divine Print does not work without Divine Cut at the moment. If that changes, I'll indicate in the description of this video. But um, yeah, this is Divine Cut, the smart cloth generator. And it has all these features. And when you install the add-on Divine Print, you'll have a new section under your design here called Painting Tools, which is where um, Divine Print um, functions live. So we have Divine Cut and we have Divine Print. After you install Divine Print, you can now have your image playing like this and your object under Divine Cut, just assign that object as the cloth object, place the image against it and click on spray. So you can now spray different areas of your object. You can use another image, so just import image as plain, look for another image, this one, place it, scale it and spray it works on all kinds of objects. We can add a monkey. Let's try Suzanne. And assign her as the cloth object. Grab your image. Place it onto the mesh like this. Make sure the monkey has a material with a principal shader. It doesn't have to be here, but yeah, with the principal shader. And click on spray. 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 Really simple. Um, so you might notice it's also spraying these areas. So what it does is it shoots right through. So this image sprayed the opposite side as well. This one like that. Just select those faces wherever you don't want the spray and click on wipe and it wipes it. Now, if you want your spray to have a different material, so this was the last spray, you can click on materialize and that area it brings it up on the menu here so you can set the color if you want it metallic if you want it transparent you can see the alpha if you want it to have emission set this to four uh, five yeah so you can change the material of your last spray now another thing to note i'm gonna add another cube is you cannot spray unlimitedly i mean you can but let me just show you the uh, limitation if i add an image like this and spray oh i couldn't find a principled shader on your material add a i shader. need one either add one or it might be that you have the wrong material selected okay yes yes so click on it and click on spray and with this image because it's not perfectly square you can see the image is kind of distorted so how you fix this is just scale it along the side that it is um, long so you can see the z-axis it's long this way so i'm just going to scale it and squash it even more than it's squashed click on spray and it kind of corrects the ratio so i'm just going to make it a bit bigger spray and you can see it's okay you can make it smaller and spray so for the limitation i'm going to spray 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 again uh, when you hear that sound, it means you're on your last spray. So I'm just gonna spray, and you can see you need to bake to proceed. So um, it has too many UV maps, so just click on the object and click on bake. And the bake is successful. So you can see here in the shader panel, before it had lots of nodes and everything, but when you click on bake, it presses everything into one image and you can, can now spray more. So. You can continue like that another thing to note is that this image is temporary so you want to save it to your blend files so just click on it and the image will be saved um yeah so that's basically the workflow here we have this um jinx from arcane i'm gonna import another image i think we have some hand-drawn elements like tattoos or something like that uh like this scribble or this this one is yeah, I'm just going to bring that in. Enable snapping. To let your image snap onto the object, you can see the settings here. Center, face, and align rotation to target. So you can just move it onto your character or whichever object it is. And make sure that object is set as the target, as the cloth object, even though it's not a cloth. And just click on spray. Okay, it didn't spray on her face because we need her face material selected. 
Here you can see body is selected, so let's make sure our head material is selected and then click on spray. And you can have fun with it. You can use custom color here if you want the spray to be a different color. So you can have green. Okay, that beep means we're on our last spray. So I'm just going to bake. Okay, so now we can continue spraying. I'm just going to make this one another shade of green maybe darker and spray and another one here maybe make this one red and spray and remember it's spraying on the other side so we shouldn't have baked without wiping although it's good because you can't see the back of our head but here you can see it's also spraying on this side so what you would want to do is you know select those faces and wipe but it cannot wipe the ones that have been baked so um, that's one thing to note um what else what else what else yeah i want to save the image to blend panel and that is basically it that's how you use divine print it cannot work without divine cut installed and um you want to enable experimental functions to allow your materialize to be here so materialize is an experimental function because when you use materialize it does not bake properly uh, let me find my recent elements. I can bring in any image. Put it there. So ideally, you would want to use materialized last so that you don't need to bake. Because if you if you need to bake any materialized texture, it won't work properly at the moment. But you can check the description of this video to see whether it's been updated and it works fine. So you can spray like that. Materialize. Hey, just ahead that. Since materialize doesn't work perfectly That's with baking the at the moment, it's best to use it last. So yeah, when you use it for the first time, when you use some things for the first time, you get a message letting you know how to use it and um, what to be careful of. So you can change the color, we can make it metallic. I always love making, you know, parts metallic and adjust the roughness. Let me view this in render view. But yeah, that is how to use it. You can. The material shows up here you can also increase the bump bump has also been set up for you so if you increase that it um it gives it like a bump effect i don't know if you can see it properly but yeah it does that that's pretty cool um you can play with the transparency you can see alpha here turn that down and that place will be transparent weird but yeah it's actually transparent you can see you can see the back of the head it has also sprayed the back of her head so yeah you might want to wipe that place as well um what else yeah that's basically it you can do that you can increase the emission on the material whatever your last spray is when you click on materialize the material pops up here as the principle but yeah that's basically it. that's how to use divine print um have fun with it and i will see you in the next one safe.